past few years, call it like the atomic bomb of powers. And uh, uh, of course, Bruce Lee uh, amazed everybody. Yeah. With his, oh, you relax again immediately and can go back the other direction. And this allows for a lot of things. It allows, number one, for a lot of power. When you're new at it, you're sore the next day because it stretches all your fascia and it uh, really gets into your joints very deeply. Once you're used to it though, um, it's so healthy for you to do because you're shocking your system and it gives you really vibrant energy and it helps with your bone density and everything like that. But then you want to not only get the hips, but you have the whole spine unfolding like that whip as it extends and strikes out. And then the arm follows that and you get that good vicious striking motion, but you're relaxed except for that one instant where you connect with the target. You want to practice not just the slow movement, but practice when you're doing the smaller circles to move quick and get that much quicker movement developed so you get that fudging in there and you can use that fudging to hit just correctly and get that the hips moving first you can do it all day and every movement from every angle and you can just keep doing it and no matter what position you're in uh, whether it's your Tai Chi or your Bagua or your Tiger style or whatever you're doing, no matter what position you're in, you can hit at any angle, any direction and have really good power. You really want to practice getting the Fa Ching, the explosive, short distance, uh, explosive energy is really important to try to be training. So the Chen uh, Qi Gong is perfect for that because it gets the whole body motion going and then it works on those circles and it works on all the joints. So from the ankle to the knee to the hip to the spine all the way through the shoulders in as you rise and out as you sink. All right. Good luck with your training. I'm going to get back at it and hike a little bit more and I'll see you soon. It's like an Elvis Presley, right? You get the get the hips going. Hey, look everybody. That's where I live. <laughs> Behind me, you get one of the best views of San Francisco where you can see Twin Peaks and then off in the distance, you should on a clear day be able to see the Golden Gate Bridge, but it's not a clear day, so no Golden Gate Bridge for you today. And I'm going to be running around and doing work in the next uh, little bit, so... I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you ever see anything so beautiful? Look at that. It's fog. <laughs> Here, birds chirping, butterflies, dogs, and sirens. <laughs>